What is up, my dudes? This is Mtrek coming at you with another MS Paint Boss Strat. This time, we are going to be talking about the one, the only... Can you figure it out yet? Miss what I'm saying? Super, I, don't, I don't know how to spell Supremus. The, uh, sure, that's how you spell Supremus, guys. Alright, so we're going to enter this room. We're going to be walking up a long platform. Sorry, a, wrong, a long corridor. What you're going to watch out for, there is going to be a little barricades that are running like this. Okay? There's going to be two of them over here. Over here. So you're going to be coming out of a little pipe. Oh, this is where the raid is going to be entering this room. There's lots of trash in here, guys. Of course, there's going to be trash up here. You're going to need to kill that. There's trash down the main walkway. you got to kill that. Uh, this trash in here? Skip it. Man, no one's going to run over here. Skip this trash. If you're doing it at the beginning, you want to uh, get some Hearts of Darkness, you want to get some Epic Gems, by all means, kill it. It's super easy trash, but you don't have to. All the trash up here on both sides, you got to kill that trash. All right, let me delete that real quick because we're going to need the space when we talk about Supremus. All right, Supremus is a two-phase fight. Uh, the two phases, uh, he switches back and forth between the phases, uh, periodically over time. Now, the first thing to note here about Supremus is he is gigantic. Okay? Supremus is the chonkiest of chonkers that you will ever see. This is him. He's made of rock. Uh, he's fiery, though. Like, like he's like fiery rock. Like, you know that blue fire that's, like, real hot? The fire is hot, they say. They say the, the hotter the fire, the more blue it is. I don't know if that's true or not, to be honest. Somebody, what do you guys think? Fact check me in the comments below. Uh, but he's got lots of fire on him. All right, phase one. Tank him. All right? Oh, second thing, guys. He's got a ginormous hit, hitbox circle. Okay, his hitbox circle is, like, half of the freaking room. However... His actual hitbox, kind of small. So melee, be careful. Now, first and foremost, you're going to hit the tank. He's going to hit the tank pretty hard. You're going to want to tank him kind of just right where he is when you first walk up. All right, here's our little tanky boy. Got his shield. Got his little sword, I guess. Maybe it's a mace. Maybe killed Lurker. Got the mace. Got a little, you know, good RNG. Got the good weapon. He will, however, do a hateful strike. Now, this hateful strike does not work like Gruul's, where Gruul's hits the second threat target. This works like Patchworks from Naxxramas. What it does is it hits the second highest... I'm sorry, it hits the highest uh, person not with, who has the most health who's not the person who currently has aggro. So, if you have a Bear Druid, Bear Druids usually have a lot of health. Probably how we're going to be doing it with a Warrior main tank and a Bear Druid off tank. Uh, you'll have your Bear Druid over here. Giga health, uh, you know, his, his health bar, it's just, it's just so big, it's so full. Uh, you know, he's a little, hold on, we got a little smiley face on him, because he's happy. You know, he's over here taking hateful strikes. The bear takes a hateful strike, you heal him up, no big deal. The only other mechanic he does during this phase is he will randomly throw out lines of blue fire. The blue fire will come out in a straight line, usually targeted towards players. If it comes out on you, let's say you're this little hunter boy up here, just shooting your bow arrow, the fire comes at you, you step down there, you're out of the fire. Easy as that. Over a set fixation of time, I don't know how long it is to be honest with you, one minute, minute and a half, two minutes, eh, I don't know, does it, honestly doesn't really, fuck, doesn't really matter. He is going to go into phase two. When he goes into phase two, he's going to get angry. Ha! Ah, he's going to get so mad at all these range DPSing him, and he is going to fixate. Okay, here he is, the, his little eyeballs, and now he's looking at this hunter. He's looking at him. He's looking at the hunter. And what's the hunter going to do? The hunter's going to run away. Now, it looks like Nagentis is walking really slow because he is so big. He does not walk that slow. He walks about 90% of normal player speed. So a little bit slower, so you can get away. He doesn't catch up to you. However, if you get over 40 yards away, let's say let's say you, you go aspect of the cheetah. This guy's going yellow because he's cheetah boy, right? Got some spots on him. So it's running real fast the other direction, and he gets way over here. All right, well, supremacists are like that. If you get too far away, Supremus is going to bum rush. Bum rush, bum rush, bum rush. And he is going to punt and probably kill this hunter. And then immediately pick another target. Right? So you got more ranged players. You know, ranged and melee are just kind of all spread out around them. doesn't really matter where you stand on this boss. Just careful while he's running. You know, you want to be pumping when he's moving by you. You know, pump, pump, pump. All these guys pumping. But be ready because if he changes his fixate target, it's kind of like Thaladred. You could die. So make sure you keep a little bit of range if you're behind them. That's not always a bad strategy. Hopefully you can keep up and keep passing spells. Who picks a new target? All right, let's say he's chasing this guy over here. 
fixes a new target, and they come to this guy over here, this orange guy. This person then just kind of starts slowly walking away. Now, while this is happening, he's going to be spawning uh, volcanoes. Let's get a new blue color here. Uh, the volcanoes are going to, you know, they're going to spawn throughout the room. I have a little spout on them. And they're going to start spewing out kind of in, you know, five or six directions. You'll see them on the ground. It's very easy to see. Uh, and they're going to splash paddle, uh, splash fire on the ground. Guys, don't stand in the volcano. The volcano's hot. The volcano burns. You see them on the ground. Don't stand in them. Okay? Just run around them. They're no big deal. That's it. That's all phase two happens. Uh, once he gets a little bit, uh, after a little bit of fixated time, he's going to go back to phase one. Make sure your tank uh, has aggro. Move him back to the middle. Get your hateful target back in there. Burn the boss down and kill him. Honestly, guys, very easy boss. Should have him down in no time at all.